Do you find yourself trying to pick an aesthetic but not knowing if you feel cute, scary, intimidating, trendy, instabaddy and feeling like you're supposed to pick something and just feeling that you're not really any of those things? Oops, my bad. I get this all of the time and I scroll through TikTok and god do I love the idea of being a coquette Lolita type but I'm not but that doesn't mean I can't incorporate her into my own personal style. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a personal stylist and on this channel we use body types to level up our personal style and end the war with our wardrobes. I have spent months and months researching body types, essences, colour seasons and all of these styling theories and every time I talk about them online I get the same question over and over again. What if I don't want to dress classic? What if I don't like romantic styles? What if I really don't like the look of gamine shapes? What if dramatic styles don't really feel like me? These are excellent questions and they are the perfect question to be asking but no one really has an answer to this yet. Until now. <laughs> Project. The fundamental flaw that I see with these body typing theories is that they don't take your personality and your personal likes into account. So it can feel like you're supposed to erase your current personal style and replace it with something completely different in order to bring out your own stunning features. Which is great if that's what you want to do, but if you already know the kind of styles that you like, you kind of want to know how to incorporate that into the styles you're being recommended for your body type. If you watch my TikToks, you'll know that I have a favorite phrase, which is creating an effect. I believe that when you dress outside your lines, it's not as simple as looking good or looking bad. I think that you create an effect. So when you mess with one element of your lines, you can look maybe more relaxed, maybe more casual, maybe more formal, maybe slightly too stiff. Maybe you look more intimidating. Maybe you look more sweet. Maybe you look less mature. Knowing how to harness your body type on a greater level than good good or bad, I think, is the key to creating your own personal style. I've developed my own theory called Style Roots, which is to be used in conjunction with the rest of these theories. In my opinion, there are eight style roots and they are based in nature. So there's eight sources from which we take our inspiration for clothes and for style. And this also applies to art and music and writing. I've called these mushroom, stone, flower, fire, earth, sun, moon, and mountain. So my clients have to pick which of these style priorities works best for them, and it can be quite difficult because I think the appeal of the Kibbe Body Types Essences system is that you have this outward force telling you the best way to dress because these people, and you guys, I assume, are confused about this. So then having to pick something for yourself is quite an intimidating task. My main rule is as we go into this don't think about situation to situation it's the self that you want to turn up as wherever you go so if you go into a meeting do you want to look like the most cool fun loving person there if you go out to dinner with your friends do you want to look professional and put together it's not about adapting to your environment but bringing your best self to that environment and letting everybody there know who you are on the inside. This quiz will help you find your three dominant style roots, which you can then combine to create your own unique sense of style. Austin Cleon in Steel Like an Artist suggests that we pull inspiration from the things that we love the most to create something which is uniquely us, and that's exactly the principle that I am implying here. This quiz works with this or that, so get a piece of paper, open up your notes app, and write which of the two options I give to you, you prefer. Would you prefer to appear in any environment, any situation that you attend more sensual or more modest than every other person there? Would you prefer to look more dark or more light than every other person there in any situation? Would you prefer to appear more carefree or more on top of things? Would you appear to prefer more strong or more delicate? More experimental or timeless? And that's it. That is it, I think these are the key elements of pretty much everyone's personal style. And now I want you to look at your list and rank your top three which are most important to you. If someone were to look at you and you were the most modest in the room, 
Would that feel very authentically you if you were to look the most strong and bold and powerful in the room? Would that appeal to you? If you were to look like the most carefree person in the room, would that be authentic to you? So rank your top three which feel most authentic to who you are. So if you selected any three of dark, strong, carefree and sensual, you might have moon as one of your priorities. If you picked any three of light, delicate and modest, you might have flower as one of your priorities. If you picked sensual, carefree or delicate, then you might have fire as one of your priorities. If you picked carefree, delicate and experimental, you might have earth as one of your priorities. If you picked on top of things, strong, timeless, modest, you might have mountain. If you picked on top of things, delicate, timeless, modest, you might have mushroom. If you pick modest, carefree, timeless, strong, you might have stone. If you pick experimental, light, carefree, you might have sun. It's quite rare really that you're gonna have one of those exact combinations. And the idea is if we start here, you can identify your priorities and then go into the next section, which I'll do in another video, which is about combining your priorities and finding your unique personal self. So if you've enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy my playlist on how to build your personal style from scratch, where I kind of go through the entire process in depth. Let me know what you think of this and also, you can just pick your style priorities by instinct. You don't have to go through this little quiz thing, but it might help clarify what each of the style priorities really mean. And if you want me to create a style file for you based on your style priorities, body type, essence, and color season, make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com. Olive, what do you think about personal style? Oh, 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 she's actually sitting there. Oh God. <laughs> What's your opinion? I think you have some earthy tones. I think you're a flamboyant gamine. What do you guys think, Camboy Gamine? I totally nailed it, right? Okay. Goodbye, Olive. <laughs>